Oh, hi, hello. Here we've got a very large package in the mail from Russia, and it came in a big poly mailer. I removed that since it's been exposed to the post as of late. But anyways, uh, well, let's just get right on it. This is a giant tuned set from Mikhail Masco out of Russia. I talked to him about making this set, oh, a little over a year ago, and he said he would slowly save harps that he thought were really good for the set. The set I normally bring with me to bluegrass festivals is my Szilagyi Black Fire set. Um, great set, loud, very piercing, um, projects well, people can hear it well, especially in acoustical settings. But the thing, the problem that I run into with it is at nighttime, when I'm jamming with people, they call out a, what the what the song will be in. I'm searching through a whole bunch of black fires in the dark. So I'm like, well, Masco, can you design me something that would uh, suit my needs and be easy to find harps in the dark? And so this is what he sent. I don't know what this is all like, but we're going to take a gander. This box cut open. Is our microphone working and we're recording? I shot a video uh, late last week and I wasn't recording the whole time I was, I was shooting it. I was very sad, which is not what we're going to do here. Uh, packed very, very well. I see lots and lots of foam. Went to great lengths to protect this. We will continue cutting this open. Just for ambiance, for coolness, I'm using a different knife today that isn't well suiting for unboxing, but they're uh, they're fun to play with, whatnot, and so forth. To avoid cutting this box and also avoid cutting myself if I can if I do it's gonna be fine but you're just watching a guy cutting foam with a knife that's what you signed in for today I'm excited to check this set out because I bet I bet it's really good mask I played in the past. They're very loud, very sensitive. I go to the Bluegrass Festival in Winfield, the Grass Valley Festival. I need something loud that really projects. And I need to be able to find exact notes very quickly, even when in the dark. I see the big box. It's about like varnish a bit. Two clasps right here. I don't know which is top and which is bottom. Let's see. Am I going to open it up and they all come falling out? Oh! Which look at that? A whole mess of harps. I'll probably have to write the note in there. Oh, this one fell out. A whole mess of harps, each with their own individual case. I do not know if they are marked. I don't see any marking on them for the actual note. So I will have to find a way to mark them. Maybe I'll engrave them. Interesting. All right, so I'm imagining over here is bigger base, perhaps? I don't know. Hmm, these are interesting. higher note. Let's just go ahead and we'll, it smells like the box smells like varnish a little bit. We'll come up here. We'll see what these sound like. Let's see if I can find a place on this crowded table for these harps. We'll get our microphone back in front of us. It's always good to use a microphone because I want the best representation of the sound possible. Where, where was we at here? And I'll have to keep them with the cases and label them, I believe. Now we have this thing. I wonder what it is. Probably a higher A or G. Since they're not marked, I have no way to know. I can kind of estimate. I have some alcohol-based 
solution. MIT Mist is normally what I've been using on my unboxings. Um, if you don't have that, I would suggest. Best thing you can do is soap and water. Let's see here. I see. Really tight gaps. Recurve dish trigger. Very, very stiff, very, very high. I wonder if that's a high A or above. Loud. With a draw start. Kind of morsing, I would say morsing similar. Not super melodic, very loud. That'll be good for the festival. These should be, most of these are gonna be stainless, except for there is a copper one, I believe. I like the box, I like the way it's set up. Let's see, we're gonna grab another one. What's a bassy one? I have this one, which looks like Titan, with a large eagle on it. Requested them all with mag without magnets because I don't really play harps with magnets. Uh, some cool symbolry there. Great eagle, big trigger loop. Very, you got to be very delicate plucking this. I like it. Basey. I wonder, I, I wish that the only, oh wait, there, we're marked. It's an A1. Thank you. Yes, I love it when harps are marked. That helps me out. I was going to say, uh, maybe it's A or B-ish, but I'm not very good at discerning actual notes. The setup here. Let's try another bassy one. We have its own case. A sharp. I like the look of that. Of the Titan pattern. A sharp. Get to stam. Good responsiveness to the breath. Tight gaps as most mask or all the mask I played before have relatively tight gaps. We're gonna start playing some smaller ones. And I'm oiling these as well as I go. So glad those two have been marked. Let's see, let's try this little, little one here, this little fella. The crickets are singing a song for us, little copper guy, little copper fella. B. I'd be a B2, judging on the side. Some cool engravings. Similar trigger shapes on all these. This one a little bit taller. That oh, a little bit more melodic than the other small one we played. I like them when they can be loud and a little bit melodic at least. Let's see, we're gonna just keep going across. 
This might be a long unboxing. We are 10 minutes in, and four harps in. Let's see what this one is. What are you? This is a G. Is that what it says? G or, yeah. It says G. And a symbol there. I can't remember what that, the name of that symbol is. A long G harp. If this is a G2, I'm just guessing. Oh, yes, that's melodic. I like that. I like my G's to be melodic. Yes, um, I really, really dig that one. It's a good feel to it. A little bit longer than most people's G2. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of reed to work with there. I like that. It's going to be my probably going to be my go-to thing set for at the festival. This is every single one of these is different. If you haven't been noticing, this is what I think would be his model of Elven Fireblade. A lot of work goes into something like this. You can see. It's routed through the middle of the frame, kind of, but here's where he attached it here and slid the piece back inside, much like a puzzle piece. What are we? Are we marked? I don't know if it's marked. They're probably all marked, but I'm probably not going to be able to find where they're marked. Let's just see what it sounds like. What does it sound like? I'm not going to check the gaps on everyone. They all seem to be very decent. All the trigger shapes I've seen so far have been basically the same length bearing. long sustain on that pretty sensitive i would i don't know what note that'd be c-ish if c-ish is a note it's probably marked somewhere if not i'm gonna find a place where i can hide an engraving on it very cool let's keep this unboxing going cool box i think uh one of masco's friends made the box let's see here other well, smallish harps. Oh yes, the Norevsky. The... Do we have an engraved note? F. I'm betting this is F2. I have one of these F2 back here, a little bit longer. Let's see where it takes us. <laughs> Yes, I don't need to play that one anymore. I I like it. My F2 is really melodic. My G2 is really melodic. That's what we wanted. It's a happy day. Another one that looks like Narevsky pattern box. And this one is... I don't know. Just have to guess. It is a beautiful organ. Has the jumper there to make it more rigid, but I do not know the note. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. And I have been forgetting to spray these off with MIT Mist. They've been in the mail a while. They should be 
should be okay. That had a beautiful consistency of the reed where it was very flexible with lots of sustain. Put that back in there. Box seems to be working out well. Everything fits in there a little tight. I have a wolf. Um, one common theme with Masco is the wolf. Uh, wolves are pretty cool creatures. And there, let's see here. See a hole there. You can hang this from a necklace if you really wanted to. D, <clears throat> which is one I will be using um, a lot at festivals. A D2. Smooth pattern with a wolf on it. Very sensitive. That'll work out well at the Bluegrass Festival. It's primarily what I'm buying this set for. And they canceled the Blue... Well, they didn't cancel Walnut Valley. They're doing a virtual festival this year. So it's sad not to be able to go there in person, but... The pandemic will do as it will do. Maybe next year we'll have festivals and gatherings, but 2020, um, oh, cool. This one, this is, I think he calls it The Witcher. Is that from a video game, perhaps? Um, a case, and then it hangs on a necklace, too. A lot of quests for people to find this harp, The Witcher. The you must be a video game enthusiast. This is E. Probably an E2. Very, very piercing, very loud, very sensitive. I dig it. That will do well at the festival. It's cool that each one has its individual case. It's a bigger case with harps and a smaller case. Well, if I can figure out how this thing goes back in here, I would be a smart feller. I haven't always professed to be a smart feller. How does, oh, I get it. I'm trying to close it around there. I bet that stays to the exterior of the case. And I bet correctly. All right, let's keep this going. What else do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we had 18 total. Another smallish case. I wonder what it is. Ooh, pretty, a pretty copper harp. Now it's pretty shiny. That's going to patina, and I'm going to let it do so. I see very tight gaps. Pretty consistent compression. A sharp, I believe. Pretty, pretty kappa. Really fuzzy, not as clean as the G2 and F2. has a draw start to it, which is telling me it's sitting slightly, ever so slightly in front of the deck. Let's see if I can. And I'll just leave that where it's at. I don't enjoy that one quite as much as I did the G2 and F2. The G2 and F2 were just ridiculously clean like that. Well, I wouldn't say ridiculously clean. They were very clean, um, but they also had a lot of volume too. I've noticed that harps that are extremely loud sometimes are not as clean, and I'm okay with that on these because I want all these harps to project well. There is a G, but it's a G1. Uh, quite a big beast here. We've got long, very heavy, Titan frame. 
big trigger loop. Really good play for a bass. This whole set is stainless, except for the copper ones, I believe. That'll be good at these rainy festivals. My uh, Zalaji Blackfire always got to oil them and rub them real good because they will experience rusting when I'm at festivals. A lot of times I don't have time to oil my personal harps in between playing and talking and drinking with people. It's, uh, it's a good time at the Walnut Valley Festival. What's this little feller here? This is a... C, so that's probably a C3. And it is a tiny little feller. Yes, that's got a good, I like that better clean melodic tone for a C3. We got five harps left this is it's probably gonna run 30 minutes of an unboxing and that's okay we haven't had a good long unboxing for a while i no longer do giant more chang unboxings nobody wants to see somebody play or clean more chang for six or seven hours or 13 hours i've got so many more chang that have, i've got so many harps that have come in here for the fall this is a very shiny nice smooth harp um un labeled so i'm uncertain of the note very saturated c ish i'm betting perhaps Is that a c ish harp that's just me and my open close uh, closing and then in out in out it's picking up my open close so well it sounds like a drum beat do 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 oh i like that harp you're gonna you're gonna you and me are gonna have fun at festivals if in the future festivals do resume i expect that they will nobody knows what's happening with this pandemic or what's going on or what the risks are the infection rate there's so much guesswork about it all so until the experts know which you don't seem to know a bunch about it yet uh, we will continue not having festivals it's for the best this is a b would it be a b2 maybe i think it's b kind of a, a hammer on top of it it's cool yeah very loud very very piercing I like the way it sounds so long as you keep it moving Except for at the end there on this harp, there's an unpleasing. Which is telling me that something in here is rattling ever so slightly. Let's see, we got three left. Let's see what we've got left. What are these elven? Another elven blade. Looks like a sword. Are we marked? D? Another one marked D. Maybe it was a D sharp, perhaps? Let's see here. Very, very beautiful. These blade ones are. How are the gaps on them? Oh, well, those are consistent. <laughs> 
that a D? Oh, I love the way that one plays. Something about the length and the thickness, just very pleasing play. Most of these I've had to use kind of a semi-delicate touch on. I like that everyone has its own case. We've got two left. Has a little, that be a lotus flower on there. Note, I am on certain of the note. Mm, that's a note I like. That's F or G-ish. Beautiful tones out of that. We've got one harp left. We're going to wrap this up. We're at 26 and a half ish minutes. It's not too long for a, or not too bad for a big unboxing of a whole bunch of different instruments. Last one. What are you? F. F sharp. I see. F with a dot. Would this be D two sharp? I don't know. D two sharp, I think. Beautiful tune set. Thank you so very much to Mikhail Masco for sending this set out. This is not for sale. This is just for my personal collection as a lot of the unboxings will be. Anyways, I love y'all. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harp rate. Keep your harps clean. Keep them dry. Keep them oil. Be good to each other. If anything else, if you do nothing else in this world, be good to each other. Be good to each other. Do something nice for somebody today if you can. I love y'all. Harp out. <laughs>